Hey, Lon. Hey, what's going on? It's on the show today. Ah, uh, you know that new Spike TV series, Factory? It's like that improv comedy thing. We got, uh, we got all the stars coming by today. We're going to do a little interview with them. In fact, uh, you might remember these guys, because I think we asked them uh, whether we should hire you or Andrea on the uh, yellow carpet at the Spike Awards. Oh. Yeah. Andrea. I'm going Andrea. Andrea. I'm going Andrea. Mackenzie? Dumb Mackenzie. Everybody knows you don't go near a pneumatic bander with a tie on. Mitch Rouse, Michael Coleman, Jay Leggett. First original comedy series in Spike TV history. You guys feeling the pressure? Oh, God, yeah. You know, when Spike first called us and told us to save the network, I said, you know what? Let's take a week and do this. Yeah. So the show, pitch me the show. Give me the elevator pitch here. No, it's about four guys that work at a factory in a small town. And um, they've been very, friends their whole life. Yeah, been friends their whole lives. Very good at what they do, but just lazy. You know, I lost my dad a few years ago. You know what happens, man? That's the card you're dealt. This is in no way your fault. You know what I mean? You didn't say, hey, here, put this tie on. I did. I bought him a tie for his birthday. I made him wear it. He would never wear it. I made him put it on that morning so he would wear my birthday present. Yeah, but you didn't push him into that machine, did you? <laughs> the, the view of the relationships in the show, actually, it, it's 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 a little bleak. I don't want to say totally bleak, but it's a, it's a little bleak. Is that is that based on personal experience or just what's funny? I think it's based on cold hard reality. <laughs> I know, I, small town reality. <laughs> small town reality. Yeah. And uh, he's Mike's character single. He's always trying to get a girl. Yeah, I'm always trying to get a girl, and I don't have a lot of success. I mean, I right. I meet girls, but then I'll blow it and then meet a new one and then continually. But he lives with his grandma. I live with my grandma, who who's a, a snowbird. So she's not in the show uh, as of yet. Elaine Stritch has been called, but uh, <laughs> really? yeah, I did not hear that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good choice. <laughs> yeah, the show is uh, the show is actually improvised. So how much do you guys plan out ahead of time before you actually start shooting? I only plan getting to the set, and after that, right. it's all on. Yeah, no, it, it's basically we we sit down and we go, okay, where do you, let's come up with just a rough idea of the show, and okay, now let's go. I mean, we write some of it out, but that's about it. You've got seven episodes that you made in the first season? Uh, six. Six episodes. Right. I said seven. I think I did say seven. But come on. It was well, a lucky number. I didn't want to jinx it. It was a coup. <laughs> I made an extra one. He did, he's got one it at home. in the can. It's, yeah. It's uh, one of those flip card movies. Yeah. It's, so it's, that, a, it's yeah, a special guy. I haven't episode. shown you guys yet. You're, you're good in it, though. Yeah. You know, there's one of us missing. That's right. David Pesquese. Yes, he has a... Uh, He's shooting a uh, Ron Howard movie right now, I hear. <laughs> yeah, a little short film. He'll probably do pretty good. He's, yeah. Yeah, him and that Hanks kid. An indie drama. Yeah. You know, it'll, yeah. it'll hit uh, a little Slam outsider. Dance. I think it'll be year. in Slam Dance, and it'll get, like, most likely to be back next year as an animated film. What's up? You got? You guys couldn't get in there? Just just David? I said, you know what? Factory means more to me. Oh, you know, Hollywood okay, called him and said, hey, come on out to Italy. You know, Ron Howard. Ronnie says, hey... Yeah, they know, wanted all three Dave, of us, but we all said no. Uh-uh. Yeah. Dave's like, all right, I'll all right. do it. Uh, yeah, well, they always need more albino monks. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever work? We, we work. work. No, you don't. You just sit around all day and giggle like a bunch of little girls. Fun cop. Shut up. You like that? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Don't you worry about what we do and don't do, Todd. Okay, Todd? You know what? Must be nice to get paid to do nothing all day. You know what? Actually, it's not that great, but thanks for asking. Losers. It looks like you guys are having a lot of fun making the show. Is, mm-hmm. it, is it hard not to like ruin the scene by just cracking up? I don't know. I can't. There's. I mean, I can't imagine how many takes at the end we're, we're mm-hmm. laughing. I've got to hope this is funny to other people because that was just funny to us. <laughs> so coming out of Reno, is that is that similar to what they do? We had Thomas Lennon here actually a yeah. few weeks ago talking to us about how they shoot Reno. But what one of the great things about that show is when you you really hear those guys listen. If you watch that show, once somebody starts talking, everybody else shuts up mm-hmm. because they're going well. You know, let's just let this person run. After finishing up like the fifth or sixth one, like this is sort of like the first time there's always like shooting the rehearsal of a regular shoot, mm-hmm. and then that's like our kind of the that's the template that you go, okay, let's improve it, improve it, improve it. For more information, go to mahalo.com/factory. 
Good. Thanks for Thank being here, so guys. Thank you. It's been Thanks really interesting. Cast of the Factory. We'll see you next time on Mahalo Daily. Mahalo. Mahalo. Mahalo.